In Atlanta, money and class do give you power. I'm just gonna do it, you guys are right. Like, everybody's right. I'm gonna end up dead if not. Like, it's that crazy. Him, when I'm recording, like, voice notes, like yesterday, that's why he grabbed my phone. I'm recording, like, voice notes. How do you record somebody hitting you? How would I ever do that? You know why? We have 55 cameras, they're all off. You wanna know why? Because of what he does to me. You can ask anybody. Every camera's off in this house. Well, hopefully you understand that if you take your phone, you can go to jail. Or if you put your hands on her, or if you whatever you would call this, like, bullying or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Like you pop your chest up and you and you push me around. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you I don't know what to say that is. Right? What you know? That's what that's his, you. That's like his famous like thing that he does. And like what you fucking scared? You fucking scared? What are you gonna do? Like this is what he does. I'm in shower. Privacy. I don't trust her. Using to be. She's she's a severe narcissist. So this is a story of when reality TV turns into real life true crime with a famous housewife telling police in Georgia that she's fearing for her life. You might know Kim Zolciak. She first rose to fame on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. It premiered on Bravo October 7th, 2008, with other housewives famous now, like Nene Leakes, who is mentioned in a sort of comic relief moment by Kim Zolciak in this upcoming police video. That needs to happen that night. Okay. I will let him know that if he takes your phone, if you're trying to call 911, that he will go to jail for that. And then we have like a home phone too, but he'll grab it. I get nothing. Like I'm locked out. Like what am I going to do against this big? <laughs> you can go to your neighbors and call 911. Well, I was right. talking to him about uh, tonight. Just I was in the bathroom, and we haven't really talked today at all. I did talk to a lawyer. I know he taps my phone. Why? Why is Nini calling me? If you're a fan of the show, you might remember when a psychic told Kim that she would meet a guy, she would get married, she would have more kids. She already had two daughters from a previous relationship. You might remember her frenemy, Nini, telling Kim, close your legs to married men. Lo and behold, Kim met a man of her own, Croy Bierman. It was a total meet cute situation that played out. Croy Bierman first met Kim in May of 2010. It was a season three episode, some type of dancing with the Atlanta stars. Kim showed up to the event to support her co-star, Cherie Whitfield. Cherie was competing alongside Croy, and Kim could not keep her eyes off of the tight end's tight end. Eventually, they hooked up, they got together, they got married, and they have babies of their own. In fact, Kim and Croy went on to have four kids, so it's six children total that they share. But who could imagine 13 long years later after that cute couple met cute on reality TV, we would be watching them in a totally different episode of a totally different reality show on police videos. Bullying or whatever, you know what I'm yeah. talking about, like you pop your chest up and you and you push me around. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you. I don't know what to say that is. But, but you know, that's, he's that's bumping his, you. That's like his famous like thing that he does. And like, what? You scared? You scared? What are you gonna do? Like, this is what he does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just let me get out of here, cause he'll stand in front of me. And this is literally crazy, you guys. Like, this is not the man that I married. Like, for real. Like, something is not right. Like, this is footage from May second, twenty twenty three when both Kim and Croy called the police. Kim is 45 and Croy is 38 and they've been going through a whole bunch of drama, especially this year, 2023. Did she call 911 too? Yeah, as soon as she realized I was, then she is doing this. This this is the games, this is the manipulation, this is the narcissism coming mm -hmm. through to try to gain control back over the situation. Um. If you're trying to call 911 and he takes the phone away from you, that is a crime, but you that needs to happen I'm that night. Like, like, okay. I, don't know whatever the last I will let him know that if he takes your phone, if you're trying to call 911, <laughs> that he will go to jail for that. And then we have like a home phone too, but he'll grab it. I get nothing. Like I'm locked out. Like what am I gonna do against this big man? You can go to your neighbors and call 911. Yeah, I'm so good. Well. I'm so good. So this is just the first in a series of episodes from body cam video that I obtained from Georgia. It's regarding all the wacky, crazy, wild domestic disputes that occurred at this couple's mansion. Now I paid more than $300 for all the body cam footage from 2023 when cops were called to this mansion 
this 17,000 square foot mansion, which unfortunately has become the set of a lot of melee and drama for this famous couple, playing out online for all of us to watch. So there are plenty of times cops were called and I have all the videos. And I'll go sequentially in order. I, um, I know, I, anyways, I'm sorry. I just said yesterday that I need to call my own, like I can't do this anymore. Things like very wrong with him. Okay. Y'all want to take him over there? You want me to go in here? You uh, cannot go in my home. Well, actually, we, we can. It's an investigation. No, so, no, you, no. That's, right. so you can step over there. There is no power trouble. I'm simply exercising hey, can I step in here? Please, he's crazy. This is the first time that Kim broke down and took the advice of family and friends who had been urging her apparently to call the police. Something was just getting too dangerous. So even though she feared the media, as you'll see coming up, if you can hear her through her wailing, she feared the media, she feared this will be on TMZ tomorrow. The cop said she did the right thing. In fact, Croy and Kim both called this first time, May 2nd. I don't think I have that 911 audio, but for future episodes of future videos, I will put the audio of the phone call in there with it with the body cam footage. There is no power struggle. I'm simply exercising my rights as a person. Okay. So how long have you guys been together for? This right here is probably not gonna end well, so I'm, I'm not gonna ask any more questions until Why are you saying it's not going to end well? Because that right there is manipulation. Her, him talking to your wife? No, her behaving in that manner. Oh, you mean her crying? Yes. I mean. He's like, get out, get out, I want to take a shower. But when he locks me out and I can't get back in. Bullying me with his body like this, like, like pushing me into the wall in the shower. Is that today? No. Last night, I finally said, next time he does something to me, I'm calling the police. I've had enough. So I think he... Tapped. And he, he heard that? Yes, I'm okay. sure. And then Speaking of TMZ, that's how it first piqued my curiosity to what this couple was going through. But I've only been able to find like two minute little episodes or clips from the entire body cam footage. I couldn't find the body cam footage anywhere online. So that's why I requested the whole thing. And so I wanted to see it all. And since you're watching this video, you probably wanted to see it all too. So you can watch it all here on YouTube. Now, on May 2nd, 2023, for this first incident, I got the incident reports, no 911 audio, but I got four different body cam videos. Four cops must have shown up. So two of those videos I've kind of synced together side by side to cut the time so it wouldn't be this huge video you have to watch on YouTube. I synced them together and adjusted the audio. Hopefully it sounds good. Those are those two. But the other two videos, I'm playing them sequentially, one after the other, because they don't sync up well together. Kim gives the first two cops permission, you'll see, to come inside the house. There's barking dogs. There's a lot going on. Meanwhile, Croy is on the front porch getting a little bit crunk with the cops. He's trying to control it, but he does say to them, you're not allowed in my house. And the cops are trying to explain to him, yes, we are. Kim gives them permission. But if you'd rather not see all my commentary and everything and want to watch the entire four videos back to back to back, I still edited the first snippets up front, but it's a nice super long video. It's more than two hours long. You can go over on Patreon or it's on Spotify, whatever your preference. Patreon seems to work a lot better for some reason than Spotify. People have problems with Spotify. I don't know Spotify's deal. I've tried and tried and tried and I've talked with them. Anyway, choose where you want to watch it in its entirety. Watch the body cam videos over there, but I'm also playing them here a little bit shorter because two of them are side by side, but you'll get the gist. There's a lot going on inside the house with Kim. There's the barking dogs, one cute doggy. He jumps up on the officer, makes an appearance on his body cam. Eventually she puts them away. Kim's also on the phone, on speakerphone with a 66 year old woman named Karen. At first she says, Karen's her mom, but then Kim eventually tells the officers that Karen is just like a mom to her. Meanwhile, Karen gets upset when Kim is cussing and she does so quite a bit. Oh, the editing on this. There's a lot happening here. It's like we have a downstairs closet. So like if I get locked out of the master, he has like a, oh, come look at the, come here, look at the door. What he did. 
He kicked the whole fucking door in. Like what, a month or three weeks ago? He repaired it. He kicked the whole fucking door in. This lock goes into the wall. Into the, into the, he kicked the whole fucking door in. Stone. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Shattered it, stung it. I love you so much crying, you like giving all this bullshit. Walked in the, in the bathroom after I had gotten the kids to bed, shut up the house, turned the lights off. I said, Would you please leave so I can shower? Nope. Absolutely. What was she doing in the bathroom? Sitting there. And she had no reason to be in she the She's on the phone. phone. She's talking on the phone to somebody. He's been super calm, he's been on the phone with. I don't even know who I talked to a lawyer for three hours. Yeah. That's exactly why this is happening. I talked to a lawyer today. Did he keep you from order. leaving the bathroom? Just so mad, I said, I'm sorry, I know it's so inappropriate, but I'm just pretty upset. No, he did not. Kim and Croy started to argue. Croy said he just wanted to take a shower and go to bed. Kim was in the master bathroom, of course, in the master suite, I guess. Croy wanted her out of there. He's like, I don't care where you sleep, just get out of here. But Kim was staying in there. She was on the phone, apparently. Kim did not want to leave. She explains to the cops how different nights she slept in one daughter's room. She slept in a different daughter's room. She was tired of sleeping elsewhere. Her back hurt. She's had a chiropractor over there. She's had a dry needler over there trying to help her with her back. She wanted to sleep in her own bed. And that's what started this fight or argument. She even showed cops her master bedroom door and this lock at the top and she claims that's the place where Croy had actually kicked in the door. Since none of these actions happened that night, no one went to jail, no one was arrested. What's most scary is Kim fearing for her life, saying, this is not the man I married, playing different audio she captured of them screaming at one another. And it's also scary that Kim alludes to something going wrong with Croy's mind, alluding to the fact that he might have CTE, a very serious condition that some NFL players suffer from, unfortunately can't get diagnosed until after they're gone. I have my doctor here, my chiropractor and he's adjusting me. My husband's what was this last week screaming, Fuck you! My chiropractor just said to me yesterday I had to go to his office and came something's like very wrong with him. Does she put her hands on you at all or did you put her hands? There's no pushing or anything. Um did anybody does anybody force to stay into in a room? Absolutely not. Not at all? No, I was okay. asking her to leave. Okay. So I'm, all I'm going to say is I, I, I have put up with more than any human being should have ever put up with. She could probably say the same thing as well. But in February 2023, there was a lot of problems financially. Croy accuses Kim of gambling on her phone. I don't know if they're talking about games or what. We'll know more as more of these videos are displayed. They're facing foreclosure on this Georgia mansion. They put it up for sale. They filed for divorce in May 2023, the same month that this body cam footage was filmed but then they called it off said they were getting along and trying to make it work for the kids but no by august 2023 the divorce was on for a second time so subscribe and stay tuned if you're interested in this series of body cam videos i plan to edit them all and you know put each one as it happened in a separate video because it gets pretty long here especially when so many police officers show up to the residence and they each have their body cams but kim and croy did list this home for sale for six million dollars i'm not sure if it's sold yet or if it'll get foreclosed upon it's seven bedrooms 11 bathrooms and this this is never before seen body cam footage in its entirety and you'll get to see some of the house and the photos of Kim and she loves photos we know of the family on the walls the dogs and everything and she's showing them the master bedroom and they spend a lot of time in the kitchen too it's a sprawling house in Alpharetta where they first moved like 11 years ago in 2012 unfortunately it's the set of a lot of discord and a lot of body cam videos there's been a new court order recently that has basically banished Kim to the use of the basement and the nanny suite. So that's, I guess, farther away. And Croy, just like he wanted in this body cam video, he gets the use of the primary bedroom. Quote, the court document said, neither party shall enter the other party's individually awarded space, 
in the marital resident without permission. So, you know, if one of them wants to sneak into the other's space, they better ask permission first. So, of course, they still have to share certain common areas. They get to share the kitchen, they get to share the living room, and the court told them they have to be civil with one another, and especially for the sake of their children. Quote, neither parent shall disparage the other parent in the presence or earshot of the minor children. So they still have minor children, but those, of course, in future videos will be redacted and everything. Now, the older children, at least I know for sure one of the daughters, the older daughters, makes an appearance in upcoming body cam video footage, just trying to help her mother. Hopefully, Kim and Croy can get out of this mess and just figure out how to co-parent well for the sake of their children. I hope if they are truly headed to divorce court. I hope everything can be amicable and they can kind of go their separate ways, but still hopefully no one becomes a victim of violence, which can unfortunately happen when divorces get heated, stuff gets riled up. Get comfy, get prepared to watch all this body cam footage that's remaining. And once more, if you want to watch all of it uninterrupted, just playing through, none of it side by side, just all two hours. Visit the links below, watch it on Patreon, watch it on Spotify. Hope it works well for you. But let's read Hebrews 4.12 real quick. For the word of God is living and active and full of power, making it operative, energizing, and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword penetrating as far as the division of the soul and spirit, the completeness of a person and of both joints and marrow, the deepest parts of our nature, exposing and judging the very thoughts and intentions of the heart. And not a creature exists that is concealed from his sight, but all things are open and exposed and revealed to the eyes of him to whom we have to give an account. So that's how I kind of feel like God knows what's going on with Croy and Kim. You listen to Croy's side, he seems, he tries to be very calm and rational. It seems like there's something brewing underneath. Kim inside is being dramatic, of course. Kim also appears to be a true victim, even though Croy is calling her manipulative and a complete narcissist and all of this drama, it's just for show. When you listen to Kim's side of it, the things she's claiming Croy did and putting his body up against hers and bumping her and being afraid of this big man and him allegedly taking her phones and, and preventing her from leaving at times and doing all these things she claims and her fearing for her life, it makes you wonder, okay, the Lord knows the truth, but I hope these two can just get away from each other before something serious happens. So watch it all, stay tuned, subscribe, keep track of this series if you're interested, where reality TV meets true crime. Thanks for watching. What's going on, sir? I'm in the process of uh, dealing with a difficult situation with my wife. Uh, and I know a lot of this is on record, we're in the public eye, but uh, in the process of divorcing my wife, dealing with some significant issues, I've asked her to kindly leave our bedroom so I could shower in privacy. I don't trust her. She's refusing to leave. She's She's a narcissist, um, and so she's playing the games. I just kindly asked her to leave so I could use the space. This doesn't have to be a big deal. I don't care where she goes, where she sleeps. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. I just kindly wanted to go to shower and go to bed, and uh, she's refusing to leave the bathroom so I can do that. Um, I don't know. She's telling me to go shower somewhere else. I probably should have. I don't feel like this point I've, I've played your games long enough I'm just asking you to use the space that uh, has all of my things in there and, and just shower and go to bed. I just can't deal with, with what I've been dealing with for too many years anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to do or what 
you guys think I should do or so you guys are separated or I'm no we're not uh, nobody's filed anything uh, I have calls with, with lawyers and, and things like that. Nothing nothing has been officially filed yet, but, but the process has started. It just as nothing is in the court yet uh, with that, so. Okay. Was there anything physical going no, on? No, no. Nothing physical? No, sir. No, sir. I just I might have raised my voice, like, get out. Yeah. You know, like, please just get out. You know, I have a, I have it all on my recorded on my phone. Um, it just, it just, same nonsense I've been dealing with for way too long. So, what what caused this tonight? What was what was the argument? Well, it's, the it's, it's, it's been a massive problem. Okay, what's been. going on tonight? Right tonight, I walked in the, in the bathroom after I had gotten the kids to bed, shut up the house, turned the lights off. I said, "Would you please leave so I can shower?" Nope. What was she not. doing in the bathroom? Sitting there. And she had no reason to be in she there. She's on the door. phone. She's talking on the phone to somebody. Okay. I said, "Would you please leave so I can shower?" Nope. Not leaving. Absolutely not. You're not. You're gonna walk out of the room. I'm not sleeping here. You need to sleep somewhere else. And all this non. Just, I just said. I just want to shower. And go so, away. so did it all start because you were trying to shower yes. and she was just sitting in the bathroom? Yes, she did not leave. Her. And I do not. I do not feel comfortable around my wife any longer. I do not want to be around her in any form or fashion in that manner. I just want to fucking shower. And go to bed, man. Okay. And you saying that was just a verbal argument? Yes, just a verbal argument. Great. Okay. Anyway, have you? Have you anyone been drinking tonight? Uh, she might have had a glass of wine. I have not known. Okay. Um. I don't even know. I, this is just I I, I I just can't deal with this anymore. Like the, the craziness and, and the delusional reality that she lives in. I just it's just too much for me. Yes. And, I know it's getting a little personal, but y'all still sleep together, or y'all sleep in separate rooms? Well, no, she, we have. We still, we're in the same bed, obviously. No, no, just I sleep on my side. She sleeps on her. The last two nights, she has been somewhere else in this house. Doesn't bother me, but she's now complaining because she's her body aches, her back aches. I said, I don't care. You can sleep wherever you want. It doesn't bother me. Like, just, I just want to go to bed. Yeah, she's inside. Oh, uh, I guess so. I believe so. Uh, our kids are sleeping in my. No, can I go grab? Can I tell her that you guys are here? I just no, we just told her. Uh, she's coming out. I don't know if someone's here. Yeah, she'll, she'll, be, she'll come right out the store this year. I'm going to go with them this year. You want to take them over there? I'm not going to my home. Well, actually, we can. She called us still. So, no, you. No. Alright. Alright, look. So you can step over there. Her the event stuff will call here. Wherever she wants. Well, yeah, yeah that, that's fine, but I'm saying right now, you are not, what, once you make contact with her, then whatever. Yeah, we have. Right. Dispatch has. So I understand, but not physical contact. All right, sir, let's not leave the power here. There is no power structure. I'm call simply call exercising call my call rights call. as a person. Okay. So how long have you guys been together for? This right here is probably not going to end well, so I'm, I'm not going to ask any more questions until... Why are you saying it's not going to end well? Because that right there is manipulation. Uh, him talking to you, what? No, her behaving in that manner. Oh, you her crying? Yes. Did you call them one as well? I did. I was the first one. I said, I'm going to call the police if you will not leave the bathroom so that I can use the space that I had every right to use. You know, we're just arguing after that. Like, just. No, that was, the argument no. ended at that. Okay. Did she call one Yeah, as soon as she realized I was, then she is doing this. This this is the games, this is the manipulation, this is the narcissism coming through to try to gain control back over the situation. Have we been out here before any kind of... Yeah, I think the wild... No, no, no. 
Uh, there's a couple of alarms have gone off. I've been here for a long time. Yeah. I bet you did. Yeah. Um, okay, so there hasn't, you guys haven't called 911 or each other before. Okay. First time. Does this happen, happen a lot or like uh, it's, it's <clears throat> happened enough? Yeah, I'm done. Right. You guys are, I'm sorry, um, you guys are married or you're not married? I'm you sorry. are married. You are married, okay, okay. Your, um, use your first name, last name, date of birth. One second. <coughs> Alright, what's your first name? Croy. K R O Y. I'm sorry, you said K R? Croy, yes sir. K R. K R. O Y. O Y. Yes sir. Last name is Beerman. B as in boy. I E R M A N N. Beerman? Yes, sir. And then, what's your birthday? Yes, sir. All right. Your phone number? All right. All right. I'll be back. Go over records. dog um if it's just a verbal argument sure. what's going to happen is we're just going to document what happened out here sure. um you guys are married there's no kicking each other out nice you can go sleep in another room she can go sleep in another room right. y'all should stay separated tonight sure. um but if you want to if you are having you know difficulties with your wife and you want to go the whole divorce route that's totally up to you sure. we have no say in that sure um, we can't tell you what to do either right. um, that's totally on you sure. and her sure. uh, but as of tonight like I said if, if it's just a verbal argument we'll just document that we came out here um, if there's no allegations of anything like I said just be a verbal verbal communication we'll document it and uh, y'all should just stay separated for the night sure. Let things cool down. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I, and hopefully in the morning y'all can talk it out civilly. You or her? There You didn't. There is absolutely no physicality whatsoever. I'm just asking who. I don't know. I didn't make that. So. Okay. Yeah, we got we got a call that there was some physical altercation that was happening. We don't know if it. Honestly, you both were calling in. We just didn't know who, who was saying that yeah. there was. No, absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Is there anybody else in the house other than the two of you? Four kids. Are they all asleep? They or? are. Yes, they are. Do they were they witness to no. the altercation? Okay. No, I I put everybody in the bed and was had shut up the home, turned all the lights off, locked all the doors, and just wanted to go to bed, try to shower. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Um, you guys just want to touch base with the uh, officer? Yeah. We'll be right back. We're going to get the other officer. Okay. Here, my doctor, and he's adjusting to my husband's 
what was this last week, screaming. Yeah, my doctor just said to me yesterday, I had to go to his office and came, something's like very wrong with me. Okay. So I know you've been talking to this officer. Can you just reiterate what what happened? I have like, what, my, what, mom, I have like uh, my mom on the phone. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. I want to do something. Come on. Yeah, I like y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Uh, no. Yeah, she said. Please, no. She didn't keep her in a room. So no false information. Like okay. She didn't take her phone or anything. Uh, 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 hey, Here you go. Come. She's got recordings of them. Yeah. There's I have video of him locking up, taking all the car keys. <coughs> That's come. the only thing. Come. Pass this. Get him in the room. When they get on here. Yeah. Okay. Put him in the night. Okay. So, um, Mr. Beerman, uh, like I said, I know you're just talking to him. Come, come, come over here. Yeah. yeah. And I go with the. Yeah, you, you can go out there. Um, I know you were talking to him. Can you just reiterate what happened tonight? I was talking to him about tonight. Just I was in the bathroom, and we haven't really talked today at all. I did talk to a lawyer. I know he taps my phone. Why? Why is Nini calling me? Okay, just um, I know, okay. I, anyway, I'm sorry. I just said yesterday that I need to call my mom. Like I can't do this anymore. So I know that he listened to that, and then tonight. It's okay. Just take a deep breath. You can take a moment. This has been going on, sir, for so long. <laughs> but like something is really wrong with last year. It's like like in front of my people, in front of my doctors, in front of my screaming like a crazy person. I'm like, like just like this is in my face, like this close with his body to me, like doing this to me, like in the wall, in the fucking wall. Right? Did you better get away from me? I'm in the toilet. I'm in a small little toilet, like only a little toilet. And he has a door propped open with his body, and I'm he's super here in my face. Wait, is this tonight? No, this is yesterday. All right. All right. Pause that. What What happened tonight? Like nothing. That's what's. But yesterday, I said to my mom, I said I'm gonna call my mom. Like I can't do this anymore. I don't care about the media. <laughs> So what what made you call 911? I was in my bathroom. I was because I was in my bathroom. Okay. And he says, "Get out! I need to take a shower." I said, "No, you lock me out. There's a lock." I just showed the other officer how he kicked the door in, and there's like a lock into the what do you call this? The trim. There's like a big lock, and he kicked the door in last like at what, Karen? Like a month ago? I don't even know. And yeah. so he kicked the door in. So what he'll do is he'll lock the door. He locks the basement door so I can't get in because there's a closet. He'll lock the closet door so I can't get in. So I can't get into my bed. I slept. In my daughter's room last night. I slept in my other daughter's room the night before. Like I'm just, and I said tonight, like no, this is my bed. I had my um, my dry needle guy here today. Like whatever. I can't make the call right now, but here because my back is so messed up. Mm -hmm. And I said I'm sleeping in the bed. He said I don't care what the fuck you sleep then. Just get out so I can take a shower. I said no, because then when I get out, that I'm fucked out. Yeah. Locked out of the bathroom? The whole area. The bedroom. I said, I'll go to the closet. Just let me stay in the closet because we have a downstairs closet that goes downstairs, but there's a lock to it and I don't have that key. So, so is, there, is it like a, your, is it the master bedroom and then you have a bathroom attached to it? You want to see? I don't know. I can show you, but there's a master bedroom. Yeah, there's a bathroom attached to it. And then there's a staircase that has a, a downstairs closet. Mm -hmm. And he said, I don't want you in the closet. You can go into the room. I said, Corey, cut the shit. I'm not playing games with you. Mm -hmm. I know she doesn't like me to cuss. I'm sorry. Okay, we're fine. Um, so he was just telling you to get out of the bathroom, and you were yeah, like, no. Yeah, he heard me yesterday say that I'm going to call 911. Like, next time he does something, he's like, I'm going to call 911. So he calls 911. He's like, he calls 911. So he was the one that called 911 first? Or well, I was, I was, we were, it was pretty much the same time. Okay. And then he says, you guys don't need to come out here or whatever, because I'm not, a, I, what am I going to do, you guys, like, to, to this crazy person that I could show you videos for days of, mm -hmm. no, Karen, like, I can't think right now. I'm just trying to, like, get my shit together. I've been crying on the phone with the lady for 20 minutes. Okay. Is it, that's that's your mom, you said. She's like my mom, but she's been a witness to, just tonight. She's been a witness on the phone all the time, and they're warn they're telling me call nine one one. Like I hear it from everybody. Yeah. But I'm afraid. I know. No, nothing's I nothing's know. gonna happen. What's what's gonna happen? Well, my kids are asleep too, so yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna do this. Time. So look, look, you you call us out here because things are getting heated. You don't want things to to keep getting heated and, and to the point where someone. When is, I tell you like something is not, I I have I called Doctor Ahmed to do a brain scan on my husband last week. I said, you have to help me. Like, something well, is not right. I mean, like, something is if, not if, right. if he's not right, then, uh, you know, that's something that he's going to have to go through. Like, 
I mean, you can't forcibly take someone to the hospital unless they're doing something criminally or trying to hurt themselves or hurt someone else. Um, so just tonight, though, there's nothing that happened. Nothing. So, it, so, was so, so, it was just a verbal argument. I just, I just hear it was just a verbal I argument. lawyer today for the first time. Okay. Ever, like, okay. Just to, like, get the proceedings. So he has my phone tapped. So I'm sure he heard the whole conversation that riled him up. And then I wouldn't get out of the bathroom. That's it. Okay. So he didn't put hands on you? Not tonight. No. He didn't, you didn't put hands on him? No. Not tonight. Okay. And uh, nothing was damaged tonight? No, not tonight. Yesterday was terrible. Yesterday morning. And then he took off. Okay. Well, we can't do anything about it. Yeah, like, whatever. Yeah, like, I have so much. I have... There's, it's... So, guys, if, I mean, if you have video recordings of, you know, all this I have, stuff, that's good I for do. you in the courts. Yeah. Um, but if he... I mean, if you have video of him, like, hitting you or something like that, that's good for us. Well, so, no, like, yesterday he grabbed my phone. And he grabbed my phone to, he killed grab my phone for me or whatever. And so then he shut the door yesterday and locked the phone door. And of course I want my phone, but now I have my phone like locked. My daughter showed me how to like lock it in 30 seconds. So, you know, you can't go through it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But just yesterday I said to my, my mom and my two girlfriends, you guys, I promise to God, I'm going to call 911 because yeah. they're so oh, you, stressed yeah, out. If, yeah. yeah. If, if you, if you feel in fear for your life, you call 911. <laughs> or if you think things are going to get escalated to the point where someone's going to put hands on <laughs> each other. This is a six yeah. Like, I know, it's, but it's, it's been. It's, it's, it's stuff, but I just didn't want to make it public because I'm so. Just so what, what's what's going to happen tonight is we're going to document that we came out here. We got your side of the story. We got his side of the story. Pretty <laughs> much, y'all both said the same thing. Okay. Um, oh really? He told you that he fucking uses his body. He pushes me. Throws shit. You no, uh, what happened tonight? I don't. Whatever happened in the past, we. No, know, what happened in the past? You need to. If he puts hands on you, you need to call nine one one right then and there. And. Um, well, he take my phone. This is why I have two now. I have two different phones because you know why? This is. A, I've had this phone since uh, November. Okay. Well, I can. I, I, I can explain phone. to him that if you're trying to, if he, if you're trying to call nine one one and he takes the phone away from you, that is a crime. But. That needs to happen I'm that night. First hand, like, okay. I, know whatever the last I will let him know that if he takes your phone, if you're trying to call nine one one, that he will go to jail for that. And then we have like a home phone too, but he'll grab it. I get mm -hmm. nothing. Like I'm locked out. Like what am I gonna do against this big? <laughs> you can go to your neighbors and call nine one one. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> Well, I'm so embarrassed. Like my kids and Or if your kids are home, no, tell them to call nine one one. That's the reason why I said, you know what? I, you know what? I can ask my son on Thursday. Karen, did I not? I said, I'm going to call the police on your dad. I'm so sorry. I know. And, I know. And, you're good. and my daughter said, Mom, just take my nine year old. I said, Mom, please, please just take a breather. I said, You guys, I'm so sorry. And then I just went to the room and I was like, God, please give me strength. Mm -hmm. But they were asleep. All oh, my kids were asleep. Okay. I mean, typically you don't want to get your kids involved, no, I, but, I, but if, if you need to call 911 because of something and he has your phone, you need to tell your kids to call 911. Because then we can get, come out here and figure out what's going on, okay? Yes. If you're, if you're being abused or a victim of something, you need to be able to call 911. Okay? Don't ever feel ashamed to call 911. I'm like so embarrassed. Well, because you know the call is going to be on TMZ and more, and like I just have to deal with all of them. There's no, there's no news coming out here. Never. Unless, unless, if someone probably went to jail, then maybe. I mean, it, we know who you are, but, um, but that's not going to happen. At least not tonight. Like I said, we're just going to document that we came out here. Now you guys were in a verbal argument. What's going to happen is I'm going to tell you. You need y'all should just stay separated for the night. Yeah, but I keep going somewhere else. Like he can fuck somewhere. I have my doctor come. Like I have the chiropractor come. I have a bat. I mean, I've had six kids. Like yeah. a lot of pregnancies. Like I'm, I'm saying for tonight. Just separate oh. for tonight. But he, like I stay, stay in the master yeah. room and he can fuck somewhere else for once. Like I don't care. I don't care anything. how y'all do it. As long as you guys are separated. So but he won't leave. Is my point. Like he will not move. He will not leave. I have the car keys. I had to break into my safe. Now the safe is locked. I can't get into that at all. He changed it so the code. And now you need a key. So I can't get into that. I told him tonight. Like that's. That you're doing this to me. Mm -hmm. My passport, everything's in the safe. But now you need a key. The only way I got out of here on Sunday was because he was up here talking to them, and I was like, God, please. And I went downstairs to our huge safe in the wall, and I was like, I couldn't even figure it out for like five minutes. I was shaking. I finally figured it out, and I was like, God, where are the keys? Because there's spare keys to all of our cars. And I just opened up a, uh, like a zipper pocket and took the key out. And then I came up here, and I was like making a sandwich, and he went to go feed the dogs, and I fucked.
I'm sure anybody would tell you, I just got in the car and my gate opened slow as f***. I'm like, God, please, just let me get out of here because he'll stand in front of me. And this is literally f***ing crazy, you guys. Like, this is not the man that I married. Like, for real. Like, something is not right. Like, tonight is the calmest I've seen him. Tonight's nothing. Tonight is nothing. Mm -hmm. But here, me say I'm calling 911 one more time. I'm just going to do it. You guys are right. Like, everybody's right. I'm going to end up dead if not. Like, it's that crazy. Yeah, this, I mean, us coming out here documenting what everything is happening, and then when you go to, if you I'm want to file, if you want to get lawyers involved, they can have reports. I lawyer check, you guys yeah. We can have, there's, there'll be records of us coming out here, and we'll have your statements on record, and, you know, his statements on record. He's saying, I have it recording tonight. I'm going to destroy you publicly. They're going to know who you are publicly, like, I'm this horrible person. Like, dude, you're not fucking, like, the yeah. lights are not on. Yeah, I mean, you can show that all to the the lawyer if you yeah, if you want lawyers involved and whatnot, the courts. But um, he does. So we can just do this amicably. Let's just get this over with. Like, let's just do it amicably. Oh no, he said. Oh no. Okay. Um. So yeah, like I said, just for tonight. For yeah, I no problem. It. But just for tonight, y'all need to stay separated. Once we leave, y'all need to go in separate bedrooms. I don't care who goes where, until things calm down. Y'all can talk in the morning. Let it sleep it off, and then hopefully in the morning things will be a lot better. Or if not, you know, you do what you have to do. Um, if you want to go the whole legal route, go the legal route. Um, but if things get worse, and you feel that you know you need to call nine one one, call nine one one. Like I said, I'll talk to him because I'm gonna make sure that he understands that if he takes your phone if you try and call nine one one, that he will go to jail. I didn't know that. I wish I yes. knew that. Yes. Um, it's pretty much restricting someone from calling emergency Didn't services. Help. You guys are awesome. I'm very embarrassed right now. Sorry, I'm like very embarrassed. No. I know. I already know. So but now he, it's he, like needs now. To, he needs to talk to you for a sec. Quick, um, your last name is Beerman. Yeah. Uh, what's your first name? Kim. Kim? Yeah. Okay. And your birthday, man? Yeah, phone number. Yeah. Obstructing, obstructing a nine one one call. That's that's the charge. It's it's him taking away the ability for you to call nine one one if there's an emergency. Uh, that's a crime. I mean, you guys, I'm dead serious. I should have called you like a million times. Yeah. Like a million times. I know. And if he's literally taking your phone away, you need to. He takes everything from me. Like, and I, can, what am I gonna do? Because if you if you leave if you try to leave the house to go go somewhere, mm -hmm. and he keeps you inside the house, that's also a charge. That's. Um, he doesn't. He stands. And then our counselor, we were trying to go to counseling, and they said you can't block her. Like he'll make me stay in a bathroom for 45 minutes, and he'll stand there with his big body, he's so much bigger than me, and I can't move. Mm -hmm. And then he goes like this with his body, like move, move over there, like with his body to me. Mm -hmm. He hit me in the head like like only like this like there's not like you know punching going on to my face but I mean I just justify it because I don't I just didn't want this to happen. Well, if he's if he's doing that kind of stuff, you gotta get it on video or have someone. There's a witness. There's been my own chiropractor yesterday. He's been coming here for 12 years every single week. Looked me dead in my face yesterday and said, "Kim, it's not safe there. You have to get out." Like I was yeah. here. If if your chiropractor is witnessing something, he did, and it's happening that day, you need to call 911. If if he came out of that room and was like, you and my chiropractor, like I said, has been coming here and he's never seen that side. And he said, Kim, for Croy to show me this side of him that I've never seen, like, that's yeah. very strange. Yeah. Like, something is not right. I'm telling you, like, it's something is not right. I mean, I've talked to the NFL. I've talked to a lot of people. Okay. Trying to help. Like, right. because, I mean, no matter what, I don't want to be with them, but, like, I'm not going to be with them. Now I am. I have a new sh Anyways. Well, I was on the phone with this lady for like 30 minutes. Mm. Like, well, I'm asking, are they coming? Are they coming? Because I didn't know if he was going to come in here, but once I think he realized you guys are coming, he fucked He's like, they don't need to come. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. With that, this, there's definitely been some tension. I can feel it for a while. Yeah. Um, and Except this, this is, past weekend, I love you so much crying. Like, not right. Okay. Yeah. Like, not right. Took the kids on a two hour bike ride, like, trying to be like, we can just get you help. He says, I need help because I gamble on my phone. Okay. That's about it. And I'm verbally abusive. 
what do you think somebody's going to do after you're fighting your big body as a bully? You're a bully. Yeah. So yeah, please tell them that about the phone. Yeah, well, I will. We will. Um, you have somewhere tonight, though. Like I'm going right into my room. Okay. All right. Um, let's. Oh so right. you're going. You're going to the master bedroom. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm always the one that for years, especially the last six months, always moving around this house to like, and he just sleeps comfortably in there, does whatever the he wants to do. Mm. Well, I'm gonna, know, you, sorry, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. If if you shut up, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go upstairs here in a minute. You go rest in your bed. But if he comes into the room, starts starting up the drama again, you need to walk away. I don't like because it's just gonna escalate if you just stay there. No, okay. I run. That's what happens. I run. Well, just just walk away. Just go to a different bedroom, kids' bedroom, or whatever. Uh, just stay away from him and hopefully he'll go to bed because I'm going to tell him I just need to stay set. We're gonna, I'm going to tell him the same thing I'm telling you. Okay? Y'all need to stay separated for tonight and um, and like I said, I'll, I'll tell him. So I have to, like him when I'm recording like voice notes like yesterday, that's why he grabbed my phone. I, I'm recording like voice notes. How do you record somebody hitting you? How would I ever do that? You, you know why? Him. We have 55 cameras. They're all off. You want to know why? Because of what he does to me. Mm -hmm. You can ask anybody. Every camera's off in this house. Well, hopefully you understand that if he takes your phone, he can go to jail. Or if you put your hands on her, or if you, whatever you would call this, like, bullying or whatever. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Like, you puff your chest up and you, and you push me around. Mm -hmm. I, don't know what you, I don't know what to say that is, but, but you know. That's, he's that's he's his, bumping you. That's, like, his famous, like, thing that he does. And, like, what, you scared? You fucking scared? What are you going to do? Like, this is what he does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll document all that, what you're telling us now, what he's been doing to you. Yeah, you're good. Um, so, do I you have, have a million pounds off my shoulders? To be quite honest with you, like very. I have no, a million pounds off my shoulders. If things are ever getting heated, you can call nine one one. Okay. It, it doesn't have to be. If 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 you. Honest, in my yeah. head, I'm so frazzled in these really bad moments that like I my legs are shaking. He tried to drive me up the road in the neighborhood. Yeah. Like my legs are, sh my foot is shaking. I can't even drive the pedal. Like yeah. I can't think when this is happening. Yeah. If you try to leave to go somewhere, like you want to go to your neighbor's house to call 911 or just to leave, and he's preventing you from leaving the house, that's called imprisonment. And he can go to jail for that. God, are you kidding me? Yeah, because you're it's trying to leave. Stuck in my ass. Yeah. You're trying to keep it against your will, and it's, you know, you can't do that. And like I said, I'll tell him that too. <clears throat> so then, if he ever does do that, you need to call 911 so we can come out here and, and handle that situation, okay? Or at least we can come out here and at least document what's been going on. But there are charges that can be handled. Uh, it, I mean, we're not trying to take people to jail, but if they're breaking the law, they're breaking the law. You know, but who, like, the car so that I can't get out? Like, I mean, you wouldn't believe it because I'm dead and serious. Like, I could show you so much. I know, whatever, Karen. So. Um, Thank you, guys. I'm going to the room. All right, well, uh, like, you got everything in here? Okay. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You know, this you're, is. You're like your your life, your safety is more important than you know. I don't even know. know like why I would defend this, this human being. Because he's sick. That's why. But we'll let you. Um, Thank you. Hopefully, hopefully things will calm down tonight. I'll we'll talk to him again, and um, hopefully he'll y'all can just stay separated for tonight, and I can hash things out in the morning. So you know what to say. Mm -hmm. All right, Croy. So this is what's gonna happen tonight. All right. You know, you guys are gonna separate for the night. You know, if you have a you know room you can go to, you know, you do what you gotta do. So you're gonna mind her. You know, do what she does in another room. Um. So what I told her is that so she's been saying that you know you've been taking her phone, preventing her from calling 911 and all that stuff. Well. Just two phones and right. it's a Look, point. even she sure. doesn't, whatever the case sure. is, that's not allowed. You can't do that. Sure. All right, that is a crime. And also, if she's trying to leave, like trying to come out the house or get out of a room or something, and you're standing in her way, keeping her in there, sure. that's not allowed neither. Sure. All right, that's false in prison. You can't be doing that neither, okay? All right, so same thing. You know, what we explain to her inside. You know, you guys want to stay separated just so things don't escalate and all that stuff. Sure. All right, and just... Sure. 
It's not claiming anything happened tonight, so for a verbal argument. Y'all stories lined up. Sure. It was just that she was telling us about some past stuff. Right, which has nothing and, to do with um, I can tell you just, just in the, It's just in the future, sure. if she does call and there's evidence of you doing any of that stuff, you can yeah. go to jail. Oh, of course, yeah. Okay. I would expect that. Uh, right. yeah. we're, not trying to make, we're not trying to take people to jail. Sure. We want to inform them what could happen. Sure. And, um, you know, things are getting to that point. Yeah. You know. There's the, y'all. There's something that y'all need to do. Okay. We're, we're well past that point. It's it's the point of I don't give a shit. This one out. So yeah. There, there won't be any right. issues with that whatsoever. So she yeah. she she went into that room over there. I don't know if that's y'all's a master bed or not. Um, I said for y'all to just of stay course. separated. If if you need to go in there, I would not talk to her. Of course. Yeah. I know how to do it. Um, I would just go to a different room and sleep somewhere else. Um, because. If things get heated to the point where someone does do something stupid, someone's gonna go to jail. Right. Yes, sir. I know. Okay, and I'm not, I don't want that to happen yeah. tonight. Yeah, I just, I, I, you know, again, it didn't have to be per se this serious. I just, I'm, all, I, I can't deal with any more of, of what I have dealt with. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, um, I mean, hopefully y'all can, y'all yeah. can figure it out. Yeah. yeah. But okay. that, that's something that you and her have to deal with. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. So. Do you have any questions for us? No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for your help. Right over there. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Ian is that on Man Ridge. You know, car wants to know if it's okay for him to come back home. Weapon eight three, you can never set up. She's inside. Uh, our kids are sleeping in my uh is it upstairs? No, <clears throat> can I go grab can I tell her that you guys are here? Just, no, we just told her. Uh, she's coming out, so I just want to meet her in yeah, here. Yeah, she'll, she'll be, she'll come right out this door, then, sir. Uh, <clears throat> y'all want, to, y'all want to take him over there? Or you want me to go in here? She uh, cannot go in my home. Okay. Well, actually, we we can. It's an investigation, uh, so, so no, you no. That's right. Right. so you can step over there. Further, you guys put the call here. Wherever she wants to talk to us. Well, yeah, that, that's that fine. But I'm saying right now, you are not. What, once you make contact with her, then whatever. Yeah, we have. Dispatch has. So I understand, but now physical contact. Right, that doesn't matter. There is no power trouble. I'm simply exercising my rights. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Yeah, well. I have my mom on the phone. Okay. Remember, she's like, my mom. Like, I should have called you guys like a thousand times before. It's okay. But I didn't because I didn't want this to be in the middle. Or you, you might not. My dog's crazy, my dog's crazy. Oh, my dog's crazy. Oh, my dog's crazy. Hey, come. Hey, hey come. He's, he's fine. Is there a light we can turn on? Oh, Step I'm over fine. here. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, my God. Let's Take a couple breaths. Okay. Yeah, wherever you're comfortable. <laughs> Well, this guy's trying to kill him. Stop it. 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 Stop I said last night, like, I'm going to call my mom I'm like, I've had enough. I can't keep doing this every day of my life. Yeah. So he must have heard me last night say that. So I went to get out of the bathroom. I said, no, I deserve to be in this bathroom. And he's like, get out, get out. I want to take a shower. But when he locks me out, and I can't get back in. So I would not leave. Yeah. Get out of here. 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 Yeah, he can hear yeah, the I'm officers listening. here. Okay. He 
he has been so aggressive. Like something's wrong with his mind. Like something's so not right for him. Ugly. Like I'm serious. Like and he, he has been following her around. Screaming like in my face. The house, and she went down to the basement bedroom. And he I put I put a chain. I put a chain around the door with a lock. And he with like cutters or something. Been aggressive, aggressive, and aggressive to the point of no recharge. Okay. He has been ugly. Oh. Screaming at her and bullying her with his body like this, like like pushing me into the wall in the shower. Is yeah. that today? No. <clears throat> what started the argument today? You said is because something about calling the police. Yeah, you're on the phone. Yeah, I can still hear you. Trying to okay. so I can have a normal conversation. Okay. I have a normal human. This thing going on for a long time. And I've been trying to tell her to... Last night, I finally said, next time he does something to me, I'm calling the police. I've had enough. So I think he... Tapped. And he, he heard that? Yes, I'm okay. sure. And then so y'all started arguing? So tonight, no, that was last night. I've been sitting okay. in my daughter's room, but, but I said, my back is... My back is killing me. I can't do it. Like, I need to sleep in my bed. This is crazy. Yeah. You go sleep somewhere else. This house is 17,000 square feet. Go somewhere else. Was there any pushing or anything today? No. Um, so he... Normally, whenever y'all argue, he locks you out, you say? Yes. Okay, does he lock you out of the house? Keys? Yes. Okay. He takes the car keys. He... All four car keys, he locks me out of the house. It's like we have a downstairs closet, so like if I get locked out of the master, he has like a oh, come look at the door. Come here. Look at the door. Let me show you what he's done. Right back, good for him. Oh, you're gonna get locked out of the house. Be quiet. He's a con man. He kicked the whole fucking door in. Like what, a month or three weeks ago? He repaired it. He kicked the whole fucking door in. This lock goes into the wall. Into this into the kick the whole Stone. I'm gonna put them in here. Stone, come. I'm gonna look a big bully. I have a lot. I have a lot of things. I have a lot of things. Where's my other stone here? Stone, come. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Shattered it. Stunned it. I love you so much crying, you're like giving all this bull**** This is him in my face This is him, this is him Like this is him in my face This is yesterday, look at you I'm in the bathroom, I have a migraine headache, I'm begging him to please leave me the f*** alone. Hey, I've asked you to stop yelling at me now for 30, 35 minutes. Yeah, I asked you last night to say whatever you want. I have asked you to say whatever you want. Is that what you just said? That's not what I said. That's what you said? I have called. I've asked you to stop yelling at me now for 30, 35 minutes. Yeah, I asked you to stop yelling at me now for 30, 35 minutes. I have called for a brain scan for him. And you're like, like, CT at its finest. I've asked you to stop controlling yourself. And his body. I'm in the toilet, I'm in my little toilet area like this, and he's got the f***ing door propped open. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Today, did he? Today, he's been super calm. He's been on the phone with. I don't even know who. I talked to a lawyer for three hours. Yeah. That's exactly why this is happening. I talked to a lawyer today. Did he keep you from leaving the bathroom? Or anything? I'm sorry. I know it's so inappropriate, but I'm just really upset. No, he did not. This is the first he time did. he has not. Has he ever? Did, today, did he take your phone or anything? And try to prevent you? You're okay. No, You're hold okay. on one second, you guys. One second. Let me get ready. Hold on. Sam, talk. Sam, talk. He won't need one. This, this. Sam, talk. Sam, come. Come. So far, no PC. No just, so far, from what I'm getting from her, no PC. Just arguing, verbal, um, but no. I have my doctor here, my chiropractor, and he's, he's adjusting me. My husband's, what was this last week, screaming. Yeah, my chiropractor just said to me yesterday, I had to go to his office, and something's like very wrong with him. Okay.
So I know you've been talking to this officer. Yeah. Can you just read it? I have my like, mom. I have like my mom on the phone. Okay, she's been like walking. Oh, I want to do something. Come on. Yeah, I like y'all. Uh, <laughs> um, no, yeah, she said please, no. he didn't keep her in a room, so no false imprisonment. He didn't take her phone at any point, but they were just arguing, oh, yelling at each other. Yourself, She's got recordings of them. I, I have video of him locking me on taking all, all the car keys. <coughs> That's the only so, other one the past this is uh, when they get an argument, he locks her out of the house. But tonight, that hasn't happened. So, um, Mr. Beerman. Uh, like I said, we're just talking to him. Just come in here so I can get my water so I can try. Yeah, I'm going to go with, uh, hey, that. Yeah. Uh, What's up? Oh, it's this one. This one's locked. <clears throat> Alright, I know you talked to them. Can you tell me your side? So, I uh, just finished locking up the home, turned all the lights off to go to bed. I walked into the uh, master bedroom and into the bathroom. Uh, she was sitting in her uh, makeup chair and uh, I said, would you please leave so that I can take a shower? I, yeah, but I, I, said, I said, I'm not comfortable with you uh, in here. Okay. Go anywhere else you want in the house. Just please leave so I can take a shower. Nope, not leaving. I said, please leave. I just, I just want to shower and go to bed. I don't care where you go. I don't care what you do. I don't care who you're talking to. Just please leave so that I can shower. Refusing to leave, she starts going back into the history of our, of our arguments and you're going to lock me out and blah, blah, blah. I have to sleep in this bed. My back hurts. I can't sleep somewhere else. You go sleep somewhere else. I, I just, all I want to do is shower. Didn't engage with any of that. I said, I'm not doing this. I'm not talking about that. I don't care. Just want to shower. Please let me shower so I can go to bed. That's it. I had it up here. There was also somebody on the phone with her who uh, heard the conversation. Just refusing to leave. Okay. Did she put her hands on you at all, or did no, you put her hands? No, There's no push in or anything. Absolutely not, no, sir. Um, did anybody? Does anybody force to stay into in a room? Absolutely not. Not at all. No, I was okay. asking her to leave. Okay. Uh, was it, were any phones taken to prevent either one of you to call nine one one? Absolutely not. Okay. All right. <clears throat> they already got your information. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll just wait for them to finish. Sure. say is I, I, I have put up with more than any human being should have ever put up with. She could probably say the same thing as well. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, I, I'm guessing things have gone on longer than just tonight for us coming out here. Well, she's played me some uh, recordings of arguments and she's just as much yelling as you are, so I, I mean, Yeah, and, and that's... I don't know who started these arguments, you know, it's all subject to whenever um, she starts it, but... I know who I'm dealing with yeah. uh, as a person, and, and what what's taking place a lot of those are very uh, uh, not tactical but uh, opportunistic where you start something after you've done something for hours and a human can only take so much like, Ooh, let's start a recording mm -hmm. yeah but so no, we understand there was an old uh, dash cam video where uh, it, it appeared the officer had their tool when they pulled over a car. The guy was just flipping his crap and everything, throwing his ticket out the, the window and everything. And obviously it looked like it made the officer make it seem like that he was being the cool and calm and sure. this guy was losing the sh** well, Come to find out later, he had pulled the guy over before, didn't mention him the threat, and so it yeah, So we, we understand. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm assuming y'all have separate bedrooms y'all can go to, or do you have another place you can go to? Sure. Uh, we're, not, we're not telling you you have to. No, yeah. no I don't. I, you guys, that's the last thing I want to talk about. I just want out of this situation, and I've had enough. Like yeah. Just, I'm just trying to do me. Yeah. And peace. And, yeah. Literally, I was just trying to fuck the bed. Yeah. Yeah, obviously I can't make you leave, but I mean, obviously sure. y'all are well off if y'all have another place you can sure. go to, sure. just to not even be in the situation sure. anymore. Sure. Just a suggestion. Did they get your kids' uh, names and date of birth? They're not from me. No, they didn't. Because whenever we come out to situations like this, we have to document that we are out here. And part of the reporting system is we have to include any kids that are on the premises. Yeah. Basically, from what you said, they didn't even witness to it. Yeah. And that will be put in the report that they didn't hear anything, they didn't see anything. but. We still have to list them, if that makes sense. All right, what's up? It's a different middle name, but uh, same last name. And then what's that? The last part? How long have y'all lived here? September two thousand thirteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And you've been here since. Uh, we all. You all from Georgia or? No, sir. I was uh, born and raised in Montana. Okay. And I came here in two thousand and eight. Okay. For work. Yeah, nice. Uh, same, same with me. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know if any if your life was impacted when the uh, the economy crashed in 08, but that's why we moved down here from up north is because the the economy took a dump and Georgia was kind of growing at the time, so that's why we're down here. My family was, was okay. My dad worked for the government, mm -hmm. so he got his job. Uh, and there they had a pretty pretty minimal uh, minimalistic life style, mm -hmm. you know, just very frugal and uh and my mom was a school teacher so okay she had both didn't really impact me then i was in college and, and mm -hmm. uh, just leaving college and, and got a pretty good job okay. here so i was nice i didn't go through the pains of that but i feel like we probably got something coming that's when i was going to maybe mm -hmm. have to deal with again Hope not. But yeah. It's hard to hard not to look see the writing on the wall though. Yeah, with a 54V in North Point Park. Unknown tag, a silver BMW sedan. Trying to get more stops in our mill. It was really dying down. Yeah. 
Sure. If she does call and there's evidence okay. of you doing any of that stuff, you can go to jail. Oh, of course. Sure. Okay. Okay. I would expect that. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're not trying to take you to jail. Sure. We're going to inform them what could happen. Sure. And, um, you know, get her here to point. I'm sorry. All right, sir, I'm going to tell you right now, per the invite, because we're called here, wherever she wants to talk to us, well, yeah, she has that right to, okay? All right, sir. All right, sir, let's not do the power struggle here. Can you just please talk? Can you please just talk to these two officers while, while we're here? So, can we talk to these officers here and we'll figure out what's going on here. Can you 
Yeah, Tom, clear. 446, good minute out. Who made the allegation that it was physical? Was it you or her when you guys called in? You didn't say it? There's absolutely no physicality whatsoever. I'm just asking who... who I don't know. I didn't make that. So. Okay. All right. Yeah, we got, we got a call that there was some physical altercation. We don't know if it... Honestly, you both were calling in. We just didn't know who, who was saying that there was. Absolutely not. Okay. Is there anybody else in the house other than the two of you? Four kids. Are they all asleep? Or yes, they are. They, were they witness to no. the altercation? Okay. No, I, I had put everybody in the bed and set up the home, turned all the lights off, locked all the doors, and just went mm -hmm. to the bed, got a shower. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. So, um, you guys just want to touch base with... Uh, Officer uh, Martin. Right back. We're going to go to the officer. Okay. That uh, brown dog is, it can be territorial, so I'll gotcha. say she should not be out. She want it. She's got a toy. Does she want the play yeah, or something? The, the, the gray one. He's, he's just a big teddy bear. But oh, the okay. Brown one. He, he Territory. Be, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So just hope you guys are okay. Mm -hmm. We all there arguing on the phone too, and there, there, so there's a witness. There, there was absolutely no physical altercation. Oh. It was, it was okay. Verbal. I don't know. I don't know if she'll release who was on the phone. I she. Who's, those types of games. Who's Kim? That's her. Her? Okay. Um, okay. And you only have cameras on the out exterior? Do you have them? Oh, okay. 
but uh, there now there's cameras all over the home. But they're not active or recording. No, okay. Just Martin. Just pull. Just pull. Oh, good. Yeah, that one. That one. Yeah. Uh, I know you talked to them. Can you tell me your side? <laughs> 